Okay, y'all, it's just no other way for me to explain it by just being up front, being real with it, but okay, I got fired. I got fired. So when those words had a chance to sink in, I got fired, like grab my belongings and nothing else to say, like be gone. I took it like a champion. Why not? Like I said, it's so important sometimes to be in control of your own emotional state because sometimes people do want to just keep poking the bear, poking the bear, bear until they can get a reaction from you. Like, yep, that's why we fired her or wanted her fired. So while they was busy smiling, laughing, making little slick remarks, trying to see if I was gonna fold in the process, even though I may have felt some type of way, it was no need for them to confirm what I was possibly feeling. So the manager fired me. I left out that was that only to be rehired. When I say I got a call maybe an hour later, the manager was apologizing. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have listened to the outside noise. But now it's blocked out. I want you to come back because you're a good hearted person. And just because you don't fit in here at this location does not mean you're not supposed to be a part of the company. I'm going to train you myself how it's supposed to be done. I said, oh, okay. But I humbled myself back. And it's not that I needed needed the job, but I didn't have anything else in mind. I, I didn't have a backup plan. So I went back to work. I think it was a total of five months I was at that location. But all the time, I was connecting dots. So when I say, yeah, like Generation Z, it ain't no joke because really it wasn't working. The handwriting was on the wall, but thankfully somebody could see clearly now to say, come on back. I shouldn't have been like that. I shouldn't have been influenced by the ones that just want to do harm to people's minds. They want people to team up. They want, it's like a culture where, let me tell you, it got so crazy, not at this location, because I wound up getting sent to another location that the manager thought I would fit in better. Everything seemed like everything, you know, although I had to stand up on my feet for those eight hours, just staying it wasn't that type of job that wasn't in the description even though i was having to do the laundry even though that wasn't in the description even though i was mopping even though that wasn't in the description even though i was having to do trash i can understand wiping off my workspace even though i was having to do um other type of cleaning that wasn't even the proper products to use to be doing even though all this was going on people not speaking people looking the other way people still not wanting to help you my work buddy she would spend hours practically hours in the bathroom as if she was going through something just so her load on what she had to do so i could carry it and then when it was her time to go when i tell you this woman left on the dot maybe a minute earlier but she definitely was not going to leave a minute later on the dot so she had her time figured out how long to stay in the bathroom so all of this is going on people upset thinking oh you're not moving fast enough oh you're not completing that task fast enough by them observing me just being little micromanagers then you got people that want to call each other out for fights like we need to fight this out we got to get this aggression out okay these two women was actually trying to knock each other in all different types of direction a straight up fight. How did I deal with all of that? By staying true to who I was, there to do my job, not to open up my mouth to get anything started, not to give them anything to work on. I know when you know that you are an extraordinary person and you know that your light is shining, you know who you are, you know whose you are. People can't stand it. That's enough right there for them to keep going and going. And the enemy just wants to keep driving and driving and using those around whoever they can devour. But he can't have you. Keep being yourself. If you are that on-time person who's respectful, if you are the person that's not trying to get stuff started to be an instigator, 
if you are the person that's not going behind this one's back, that one's back, like if you can say what you got to say out in the open and do it with decency and respect and not be on that, well, because I'm the age 40, because I'm the age 50, 67, I can say whatever I want. No, you can't. You still got to have tact. You still got to have decency and in order. Think about when meetups are going on is that the meeting that you're supposed to be in is it a mandatory meeting sometimes people will have you set up in these meetings just so it can be a form of attack sometimes people will call you on the business line just to let go about a co-worker just to let go about a manager what they don't like to try to bring you into it so you can say things about that manager too. People are quick to set you up. The fact that you can get fired, get rehired, come back, you already know the place is toxic. Then guess what? I was in the process of leaving. Do you know I was in the process of leaving? Now I was pivoting at the time with this new job. They was paying me a little bit of nothing, but I needed the experience at the time. When I say a little bit of nothing, I wasn't even making in the teens a little bit of nothing, but they wanted to add a dollar to it, a dollar. But I had already done the research to know what I was really supposed to be getting paid, the location that I was about to be um, working in. When I See, that's just it. When God gives you signs, when the writing is on the wall and you take heed to it and you know that you are chosen, we talk about favor a lot of times. A lot of people can have favor. Oh, favoritism for this one. Oh, they being favored. Favoritism. But when you chosen, that right there opens up a whole nother floodgate. But the thing is, don't deny what God is, is, is placing that purpose. That purpose has already been placed, cultivated. That was not a time such as for me. Their, their minds in that location was already warped warped it was already a mind of destruction for where they wanted to be they didn't want that turned around they wanted the fights to go on to the girl the girl needed a jump one time and say i'm always going to keep my little jumper cables on especially when i had this one particular car she needed a jump do you think i didn't give her a jump yes because do unto others as you would want them to do on their unto you it's still okay to have boundaries but she needed help she was the one of the ones that, that was the one that used to hide in the bathroom that was the ones that couldn't open up her mouth that was the one that told me on day one of working with her her being my buddy i got problems i got mental issues is what she told me okay Thank you for telling me. Now I know how to deal with you, but I was gonna figure out how to deal with her anyhow. Cause see, when your mind isn't so crashed in with all this other outside noise, you can concentrate and decide what you need to do for you. Less is best. Do my work, speak. If they don't wanna speak that day, that's fine too. Cause I know that's not a normal environment where everybody is angry and different ones is trying to be the big eyes and wanna make other people the little yous. I don't see life like that. So what I did do when it was time for me to leave that job, I did it in decency and in order, went on, resigned out of that job and went on to another job where I was treated more fairly. But don't get me wrong, it's going to be things that pop up on the job, but go in as to who you are. Don't change. If you know you are that good person and you know you're not causing up rhetoric, stirring up drama, if you know you're not trying to be in with the click, the crowd of the grumpy ones, the ones who have no gratitude, if you, if you know you that person, stay on over there. But if you know you are that person that wants to speak life, speak love, speak resilience, be acceptant, be an encourager, be an edifier, knowing what's best, believing in those values that still exist today, have something to pass down. And I'm going to tell you, just because somebody's 60, just because somebody's 70, 80, 90, that don't mean that they're always wise. Take some of what's been instilled in you and apply it. And then sometimes you have to compare to what this person is saying if it's really for you. Some people out here just trying to trip people up. Some people want people in the same position as them. 
They don't want you to have a job. If you do have a job, they want you to have the least paying job because along with having a job, there are tricks of the trade sometimes how you can circle back around to that same job after leaving it, although you're within the same department, but just a different location, but the same, like that's still who paying your check, whatever name is on there. Circle back around, guess what? That money done went up a little bit more just because you stayed with the company, just because you didn't like necessarily what was going on there. Sometimes some people leave just because you do like what is going on there. Sometimes you still have to leave to come back to circle back to get your check. Sometimes it's not always a bad thing to have to re-enter. That's why you gotta keep yourself covered because when they try to come for you, you gotta know how to deal with them. You gotta know how to plead the blood. You gotta know how to keep yourself shield. You gotta know how to speak scriptures over yourself. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. This is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice in it. There is power, there is power. Wonder working power. Work them scriptures. Tell the Lord how much you love him. Let him know that he is your way maker, the alpha, the alpha and omega. He is your doctor in the doctor room. He is your best friend. He is a mother to the motherless. He is a father to the fatherless. He is a friend to the friendless. He is with you to the end. Don't let your job suck you up. It may be toxic, but you still have to know and keep in mind who is in control. Keep speaking to yourself. Lloyd up, gurn up. You have to stay ready because every day, yes, it is a constant renewance of the mind, but God loves you and he cares and he doesn't want to see anyone out here hurting but sometimes people have such a mental blockage in their mind that they think what they're doing up is down and down is up. They think in their mind what they're doing hurt people, hurt people. Be who you are. Keep yourself protected. Keep the ones you love protected. Keep feeding positivity to their minds, to your minds. But it starts with you. Take care of yourself.